It was third against 13th at Le Stadium, but the surprise, it was hosts to lose that were flying high rather than last campaign's runners-up, Monaco. The Garon club looked to have lost that loving feeling with Ligue 1 Conferama, only preserving their top flight status in a relegation playoff. But the return of Alan Casanova has seen the Purple fans fall back in love with their club with three straight wins. Visitors Monaco had lost back-to-back -back league matches for the first time since April, and Leonardo Jardin was shorn of a host of first-teamers, including captain Radamel Falcao with gastrom -tiritis. It could have been worse had Diego Menalio not got down smartly to deny Matteo Dosevi to lose captain Max Allen Gradel. Again, a bundle of energy and invention to create the early opening. A stunning night sky, an allegory for the warmth and intensity that's returned to the club since Casanova returned. And his side continued to press for the opener. Dosevi, this time the creator for Gradel. A neat first touch, but a tough finish for the Ivorian to add to his two goals so far. Steven Jovetic and Ronnie Lopez missing alongside Falcao, and it showed Monaco without a shot on target in the first half. Teenager Musa Silla, Sofiane Diop, and new signing Nader Chadley having little impact. Baptiste Rene with a smart punch. Jardim having to juggle an injury crisis and the return of the Champions League with the daunting assignment of Atletico Madrid to come on Tuesday. Shortly after Chadley had hit the post, though, the woodwork was kinder to the Principality Club as Jury Tillemann scored a stunning opener against the run of play. Referee Rudy Bouquet elected to check with VAR as the Monaco players celebrated. And the replay showed clearly over the line. Tillemann made an assist for Batshuayi's second in a 4-0 win for Belgium against Scotland and earned his 14th cap in a 3-0 win over Iceland. Coming back to Ligue 1, Conferrama, full of confidence. Yaya Sonogo scored the leveller in the 3-3 draw last season, but was replaced by Aaron Lea. And the young Belgian made a perfect impact. The younger brother of Batshuayi, he started the first four games, but benched for this one. This telling contribution means likely the 20-year-old has reminded Casanova to keep him in the starting 11. Great pace shown and a tidy finish. Well, yet Monaco should have left with all three points. The best move of the match, incisive, precise passing and movement, releasing Samuel Granser. But the substitute couldn't find Musa Silla at the back post. The young teenager unable to get on the end of it to add to a brace of goals he scored at Caen last season. A frustrating season continues for Monaco, though solidarity shown between the squad and the fans as Toulouse secured a valuable point.